Tonight's highlights are brought to you by Hudson Cadillac Buick GMC. We're a good deal better. Catch him in Arlington for round one of the two powerhouses in the conference. Arlington up 1-0 in the sixth, but here comes Ketchum. Luke Tebow takes advantage of this, and the Indians are on their way. Jonathan Zepeda loops a hit to left, and that puts runners at first and second with no outs. Stephen Merrill lays down a beauty, and the runners advance, making it second and third with one out. A base hit by David Henry scores T-Bolt, and we're tied at one. Ketchum tried to squeeze another run across, but it backfires as the ball hugs the line, and Arlington gets out of a jam with just one run scored. We move to the bottom of the sixth, tied up at one. Greg Blum hanging tough on the mound for the Indians with a runner at second. Matt Chipkin grounds one to second, and that pushes Mike Pasco to third. The go-ahead run just 90 feet away. But Austin Zakow hits one he wishes he could get back as Matt Seidner plays it for the tough out to end the threat. Top of the seventh and once again, catch and bats come up clutch. Brandon Chevaria shoots one down the right field line. A great throw by Chipkin keeps Chevaria at first. But Nick Shepard follows that up with a gapper to right center. A.J. Ramputi almost makes an outstanding web gem, but the ball rolls out of his mitt and puts runners at first and second. Tebow drills one down the left field line. Javaria scores, making it 2-1, clutch him. Two runners in scoring position. All Jonathan Cepeda has to do is lift one far enough to score Shepard. And Clutchum has a 3-1 lead. And that was all they would need as Greg Blum closes it out on the mound. Ketchum wins round one, 3-1 the final, with round two set for Wednesday. What did you learn from today that you'll apply to Wednesday's game? Well, I, I learned, I, I, know, I know one thing, that our, our boys are going to come ready to play. You know, and we came ready to play. And one thing I will say is that, you know, in the, in the previous week or two, we've been kind of just showing up. We really have been. And, and it's been a little, irk, it's been irking me. But um, I know that our boys saw the environment today and they're going to be ready to play Wednesday. So that, that's the biggest thing. We'll be ready to play. Coach had some uh, hard words for you, uh, you guys last week. I think it was. Um, how did you guys respond to that? It motivated us. It motivated us uh, a great amount. And uh, we we read that uh, quote that he had, and we said he's never going to say that again. He will never have the reason to say that again. We will always come out with the fire, and uh, the team orientation. So. I mean, you knew it was going to be a, a tough game. What, what do you think attributed to the loss, though? Um, it just got the better of us. That's a very good team over there. Um, we did nothing wrong. I think it was just timely hitting by them, and um, they did a good job sticking with it. I thought Mike Pasco obviously threw a great game. Um, I thought defensively played pretty tight, and uh, you know we just kind of offensively couldn't get the couple of runs across that we needed. But uh, you know, got to give credit to them hitting in a timely manner.